I dabbled in many things and so it allowed me to get the exposure of how to do things and fail at them a lot. Ash Strawn is our guest today on Callum Connect's micro podcast. Ash is the COO of a commercial real estate startup and founder of both the business coaching platform, The Cash Code, and the philanthropic initiative, Travel Funds Kids. Thanks for having me, Callum. The hurdle that I faced as an entrepreneur is twofold. It was building belief in myself and part of that being being okay with failing. As an entrepreneur getting started with no background of entrepreneurship, a lot of the times we're afraid that whatever it is that we're working on is not going to do well. For me, it started as just giving advice. That's how I laid the groundwork for the cash code. It was just giving advice. It was taking all of the knowledge and experience that I have in building certain parts of companies and scaling companies for all the companies that I've worked for helping scale parts of those businesses helping that operation run a lot smoother that I was then giving that advice to friends that were in similar roles or entry-level roles or wanted to start their own business as well another part of it was as I was growing as an entrepreneur I dabbled in many things and so it allowed me to get the exposure of how to do things and fail at them a lot and so when I was learning to hire the right type of talent and where to have from when I was learning how to market, when I was learning how to use the digital world. There were so many things I failed at. There were so many bad hires. There were so many people I didn't vet. There were so many missteps, uh, lost investment, and not major investment, but enough where it was able to have me think that I was failing. Later on in working with people who were within my industry and taking on a mentor, I learned that failing is just failing forward. It means that you learned what not to do. And that was a big step in accepting that and learning that this is how businesses are run. No business is success to success. Every business is failure to success or failure to success to failure to success. There is no straight path where you start and then you end very quickly in success with no bumps in the road. That concept helped me build belief in myself. That was a big part in learning how to handle that I was failing, learning how to accept that failure meant I was learning and the key aspects to how to grow. When I started my business, it was just getting giving advice to people. Soon I was able to turn that into a business where the advice I was giving was valuable based on what a lot of people would call were the failures I had. It was based on my experience. It was based on my journey. It was based on everything that I learned. Those are the key learnings that I got from understanding how to fail. And that is what they mean when they say fail forward. So if you're not failing forward, it means that you're beating yourself up and not considering it something that you should learn from. So a key learning from that is you're always failing forward because you're learning what not to do. You pick that up and you move forward and you try something new because now you have a different way of doing it and a different way of approaching it. Reach out, get the help that you need or reach out to people for advice. You never know who's willing to help. These are the things that I've learned that I've been able to then live and give this expertise. And when I say live it, I mean, I'm able to live in the example that I don't know everything, but here's what I do know and here's what I'm an expert at and here's how I can help you scale and grow, whether you're an individual or you're an actual small business looking to smoothen out and scale those operations. So I hope that helps people who are listening in because it helped me. I'm happy to be here. Thanks again for the invite. If you enjoyed this podcast and would like to find more inspiring information about entrepreneurs around the world doing incredible things, make your way to enterprisezone.cc. 